Hey, 933, welcome back. You know, it is the holiday season, and that means people might kind of stop by to say hello, right? And if they do, they might want to have a little snack to be served or to serve others to give us a little bit of help on putting those treats together. We've got uh, uh, Kristen Klinkscale. Yes. I know some Klinkscales, Kristen. <laughs> You're going to tell us about uh, Wisconsin cheese yes. and, of course, only 175 years of making cheese in Wisconsin? I know, just a few years. So they've got a little bit of experience under their belts, right? So uh, you could, we could call you a cheese head. Sure, I'll isn't take nice, that. Isn't it nice when a state can embrace one particular thing? I mean, Wisconsin is known for their cheese, yeah. and that's what they do. They do it well, and they do it proudly. And you're a food stylist yes. for them, and you've uh, brought some ideas, and you brought my lunch, obviously. <laughs> yes, I brought some well, snacks to share with everybody. Um, so what I did was a, a great place to find Wisconsin cheese um, in town is Harris Teeter. They've got a great cheese section mm -hmm. you can go in. Um, I've got three different kinds of cheese that I just picked out. We've got a Sartori, which is like, it's this pretty purple one right over there. here. So it's that one's the Sartori Merlot. We've got over here a pepper jack and that's um, that is a maple leaf pepper jack and then in the front the real the really um, just the plain looking one that is a Roth butter casa which is a butter cheese. Oh yeah I see some pickles up there yep. too. Some cheese straws as yes. well. Yes. So you you can do so much with it. Yeah you've got to have little elements just kind of like different textures different flavors and things. I like to say the three things that I like to always have on mm -hmm. my cheese board something pickled a jam, and some sort of a mustard. Those are great snacks. So those are the three that I love to have on my cheese board. I also like a fourth thing. I also like to have something sweet. So Kind of beat sugar. Right? All sugar. Exactly. Yeah. So well, I got... Now, how, how is it a brown cow makes white milk and yellow butter? How do they come up with the orange cheese? Though? What I does mean, a cow do? That is, the, that is a question for the experts at Wisconsin Should Cheese. Should we call Wisconsin? <laughs> I think we can get them on next time. We'll get them on the phone for well, those questions. Well, let's face it. In general, about 98% of every uh, grocery retailer has cheese. Yes, and cheese from Wisconsin, more importantly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right, tell me some more items we can look into for Christmas. Yeah, so I love to go and grab local items, too, when I'm filling my cheese board. So mm -hmm. I went over to the Swamp Rabbit Cafe. I think they've got, that grocery store has the best selection of local things. So I got some local cheese straws. I got some local popcorn. Like I said, I love to add um, a sweet touch to my cheese board. So I got this amazing cinnamon bourbon pecan um, popcorn to add on there just for a little sweet touch and then some different kind of local honey and some local jam um, and then of course something like I said something pickled and then I just kind of filled in with other things that I had like I had some fresh apples and then some spotted trotter um, salami too. You know, have you got a cookbook out? I'd buy Not a cookbook. yet. <laughs> Are you working on that? I mean that's a good that's a good thing I might have you to add that later. later. For that. <laughs> that's yeah. a good idea. And when you get a cookbook you can come back and talk to us. <laughs> Cook something different. But again what a rich history uh, Wisconsin has for yes. making cheese but again uh, uh, so much of this is just local retail. Yes. And you mentioned uh, friends at Harris Teeter. Yes, so our friends at Harris Teeter sell a lot of Wisconsin cheese, but then again, I love to do the local too. So basically, I think the best thing to do is go and look in your pantry to see mm -hmm. what you have, and then go find something somewhere local to kind of fill in those different gaps that you might need to have. Well, I see something I could eat for lunch. In fact, I love, <laughs> love honey. And yes. I love, what's the most popular cheese? We, we call it American cheese. I, I don't know what that means. Well, I love a very like flavorful cheese. So on this board, my personal favorite is going to be the Sartori. Yeah. Um, that's actually a really good cheese to have after dinner. It's kind of, it, since it's like a Merlot, it, it, they mm -hmm. have like different notes of berries and things like that. It's a great one to have with dessert. It actually works really well with chocolate. I know that sounds weird. Well, no, it doesn't sound weird. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that one works really well with chocolate. So I like something that's like has a lot of flavor and things like that. But another really one of the other really good ones we brought was that butter cheese. Mm -hmm. That one is so mild. You can really pair it with anything on this board. So you can put it honey on top of it. You can put some of this really awesome mustard. This is one of my favorites. It's from Due South. It's their drunken mustard. <laughs> but that's my favorite. I love to put that Very with good. all my cheeses. Well, my favorite would have to be sharp cheddar. That would sharp be cheddar. my favorite. That's a good one. Too. Have you ever heard of cheese on a piece of apple pie with uh, ice cream? I have heard that. See? I think you can you, do, you can actually do, um, put cheddar cheese into your pie crust yeah. when you make apple pies, and well, that's a really good it addition. It goes a long way. Good tasting cheese from Wisconsin, and we've mm -hmm. got Kristen with us, uh, a clink scale. Yes. We've got relatives down in Clinton, I bet. Uh huh. Well, We're I'll all figure. over the place. Clink scale. Well, listen, thank you. We love your cheese and love uh, what you brought us here. Don't touch it because we're going <laughs> to eat it. You can't take it home.